Hey there, welcome to Business Basics with B. My name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a business and branding strategist, and I want to share with you a couple of things, basic things that you need to do if you're considering opening up your own business, creating your own business. Here it is. Grab a pen and paper and start your checklist. First and foremost, you want to decide how you want to do business. Most sole proprietors get started and remain sole proprietors, and that is all they do. That's great, but if you start a business that has a different name, so it's you, your person, starting a business under a different name, say you are a candle maker or a coach, and that business has a name that is not your name, you want to file for a DBA or you want to file for an LLC. A limited liability corporation gives you a limited liability, uh, which is very important for some of you who are service providers or even are selling products. If that is not important to you, then go ahead and stick with the DBA. You wanna check with your accountant and you wanna check with your attorney respectively to find out more. Both of these structures are fairly easy to file for and you could do it on your own, but just to double check, ask other experts as well. Second, purchase your email and domain. So you want to reserve the domain that is the name of your business. You want to check that that is available and purchase an email attached to it. So your name at the name of your business. If that is not available, you might want to consider choosing a different name for your business because those are very much closely associated with each other. Thirdly, Create a landing page, something very simple. You can go on several platforms, Wix.com, Square.com, and you can create your own landing page. It's really important for your audience to be able to connect with you and for them to be able to know a little bit about what it is you do and know a little bit about you. So don't forget to put a photo up of yourself, make it a professional photo and a short bio. Allow your audience to connect with you by phone and by email. Don't forget to put your social handles in, which leads me to that next step. On all of your social platforms, whether you intend to communicate every single day consistently on all platforms or not, go ahead and reserve your handle. Make sure again that it is in line with your business name, your domain name, so that your audience has an easy time finding you when they're looking for you on those platforms. Next, find a CRM that you like. You can start with something as very simple and basic as MailChimp, super user friendly. Why is that important? Because you want to capture leads from the people who go to your website to your landing page. You know those buttons that pop up that say find out more or stay in touch or stay connected? That is a newsletter, a lead capture pop up and you want that to be connected to your CRM. A super easy streamlined connection making it really easy for you to capture that lead and capture that audience member so that you can continue to stay in touch with them, whether it is through email or newsletters, but regular communication, which is really, really important as you are building your business. Lastly, don't forget to build your network. Really be in intentional about building your network with other professionals, people who do what you do, people who do similar things or wildly different things. Associate yourself with professionals who can support you in growing your network and growing your audience and know people who may be your ideal client. Also, create an inner circle of advisors, people who are willing to pick up the phone or shoot you a quick text when you have a question or you feel stuck or you don't know how to handle a particular situation. I, as a business strategist, am employed to do that and it is what I love to do. So find yourself either a great coach or a great strategist who can help you put some of these markers in place and secure that you have a sound business, a safe business, and a business that is built for lasting success. Look, I know that this stuff can be kind of intimidating. It can feel a little bit tedious. It is not actually why you went into business to take care of all of these 
little details, but it is really important and it's going to ensure that you are able to be more successful by being more effective and being more connected to your audience. You got this. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me on all of my social media platforms or message me below. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.